The Ohide Battle of Crete Award must be by the most exotic sounding award I've ever had the honor to receive. I would like to thank all of you and especially Nancy Pelosi for nominating me for this award. Greece has always had a very important place in my imagination. Ever since I was a little girl, I had lots of romantic dreams about Greece and the courage of the Greeks during Second World War was something in which I took pride, as though they were my very own people. In fact, in a way, we are all the same people because concepts of democracy and heroism have come to us from Greece. And OHI, the ability to say no. It's interesting that I have been given this award at this time because these last few weeks I have been thinking of that saying, it is, it's easier to say no to your friends than uh, to your enemies than to your friends. So to be able to say no requires a lot of courage. That is to say, you should be able to live in accordance with your convictions, even if it involves saying no. This saying no might be dangerous. It might be dangerous in the sense that you might arouse your enemies to take action against you. Or it could be dangerous in a sense that your friends may turn away from you because they do not like that no. In the end, it's a matter of principle. When do you decide to say no and no very firmly? Because there are certain things that you just cannot do. During our long struggle for democracy, there have been many roads open to those involved in this movement. The easy road, the less easy road, the very difficult road. And when we say no to the easy road, it means in fact that we have committed ourselves to following the more difficult ones. To say no is difficult because it means that you are in opposition to some individuals or some forces. And human nature, I believe in any case, wants to live in harmony with one's surroundings, with one's environment. And by saying no, you in a way upset this harmony. But for the longer term good, sometimes we have to make the decision to say no. And because of all those people who have said no to injustice, no to unreason, no to cruelty, no to revenge, we are now where we are. We have made progress along the road of civilization. Well, civilization for lack of a better word because of those many heroes of the past who have decided, who've decided to say no. And I'm sure there will be many more in the future who will know when they have to say no and act on that conviction with courage and with true commitment. I'm sorry I cannot be here with you today. I always say that when I send messages like that, and I always mean it, because a message like this is very much one-way monologue. And what I believe in is dialogue, communication, listening to you and learning from you, as well as letting you now know how we feel and how we see things. Communication is so important, and in the process of communication. Sometimes we say yes, sometimes we say no. But in the end, what we're trying to do is to create better understanding. So those who say yes must be able to explain why they say yes, as those who say no must be able to explain why they say no. But I do not think it requires too much explanation as to why we all think it's right to say no to injustice and to the violation of human rights. 
And I hope that this new reverberating all over the world will be not a negative but a positive force for good and for happiness for all peoples.